How the hook are ya? Good day, good day. <laughs> Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan. Oh, yeah, we've got something for you today. Check it out. We got some Burgo Range Rovers. Yes. And uh, boy, oh boy, do I got a mess. <laughs> These are um, Burgo. Range Rovers, 124 scale. We're going to start out with the um, Plain Jane one, even though I got issues with that, but that, <laughs> that's all right. I, I hope you guys all appreciate and uh, learn something um, from all of this <laughs> foolishness on Roverland. <laughs> I know I do. I, I do learn a lot, uh, but man, oh man. Sometimes it is just hard to come up with uh, information on, on some of this stuff. Um, well, let's just start right now. Um, as you see, this is a uh, Range Rover Burgo. This is a blue one. Uh, I did buy this in person at KB Toys for $6.99. I uh, couldn't tell you the year. It's been a few years ago. Uh, toys are, uh, KB Toys is no longer with us. They were a uh, toy store that was uh, mainly in uh, uh, shopping malls, and they would uh, toys, 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 lots of toys, and uh, pretty, pretty interesting. So we're taking a look around the box here. Quality made in Italy. If you don't know anything about Burgo, uh, you should uh, look up my list on uh, <laughs> the playlist. Uh, anyway, so this is... Um, as we saw here, this is a VIP collection, all right? And I have really no idea, really, when these buggers came out. All right, so here we go. So VIP collection, 124 scale, uh, Range Rover. Uh, uh, as you see already, we're giving away secrets. There is a Freelander also in... Uh, in uh, this, and I'll be doing a video shortly uh, uh, on that so we can kind of put some continuity in what's going on here. But we're going to do these Range Rovers first. Uh, boink, but I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. Uh, Boyage, boink, boink, I'm not, I don't know, I'm not French. Uh, I had it uh, figured out once. Uh, blocks, block, boxy, by, by ox. Anyway, that's later. Let's uh, take a look at this. You know what? These are not um, per se uh, sealed. Um, so we're gonna take a look at these. Uh, I got some issues going on. I had, I've had these for a, like I say, a long time. So we're gonna uh, gently open up these boxes. I stick in a ruler here so we can kind of. Uh, Oh, evenly open that up. There we go. Um, so the Star Collection, and uh, we're going to have to move these out a little bit. Um, the well, this is the VIP collection, and we're just taking a look here. They've got uh, different things here, and the flaps. So very interesting. You can cut that off, I guess. And we'll open that up, and then I believe we could just well. There's a one more, one more flap there, and then we can see the vehicle there. So we're gonna slide that vehicle out of its box, and uh, hopefully everything will be all right. All right, we're gonna uh, we're gonna come down here and take a look at this bugger. Of course, my stand is too close to the table <laughs> we'll get her we'll get her all right yeah minor adjustments all right so the vip collection the range rover is 0505 uh which is also the upc code uh on the box there we're gonna just jump over there real quick uh there is also a like a freelander in the vip series which i do have um, and it is 0555 five, five. and I believe I have three of those so very interesting um, 
And then um, there is another one, which is interesting, uh, Freelander 5656. And it, it says on it that uh, 1998. So it's possible this is uh, around 1998. Now this thing was kind of bobbling around in the box. And I was wondering if it was loose. But uh, apparently not. Okay, all right. So I don't want to be tipping this around and stuff like that. So a uh, little, uh, after, after so many years, little quality control there, the sticker... <clears throat> on the plastic, excuse me, has just kind of come up a little bit, but it is held on to the base by a screw, just a nice basic base there, very, very nice. Uh, I really don't want to finger this up too much. Uh, we're going to zoom in a little bit here while we take a look at the car. Um, very, very nicely detailed interior, and uh, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, opening, opening parts here. I uh, ran and got my screw, uh, my screwdriver, my flashlight, so hopefully we can uh, open this up and kind of show you uh, a little bit of the details in the motor there. Very, very nicely detailed. Uh, chrome, the uh, engine itself is chrome, and then there's black parts on the top as well. And uh, very, very nice. The back firewall is tan, which is the uh, interior. But that's as far as she opens up, but very, very nice in there. Um, lens details in the front, which is uh, very nice. There is um, a European license plate, 2000 DRB, 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 DRB. Not following you there, but anyway, um, very interesting. It has uh, little wipers on the uh, tail or on the headlights, which is very cool, but we couldn't put the uh, badge on the grill very interesting <laughs> all right uh windshield wipers a separate piece on the uh, wipers sunroof up there as you can see we're going to move around here to the driver's side and uh, just a front door opening the very nice wheels on there um the uh disc wheels kind of move with it but at least it's got some kind of graphic no side marker or anything like that tan interior so the doors open up very very nice little pockets there little door handle grabs very very nice these are very nice quality for you know while they were ten dollar vehicles and uh then they marked them down to uh six ninety nine well, seats do move a little bit, I'm not sure, but uh, it does have the uh, brake and uh, shifter knob, looks like it almost looks like a manual. It is obviously there, a uh, left hand left hooker there. There is some decals on the um, dash there, you can see those. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Get some focus there. Uh, the back doors do not open. And, uh, oh, sorry, I dropped my flashlight. Uh, so let's swing around to the back here. Uh, downward tailpipes. Uh, the uh, rear tailgate goes down and the upper tailgate goes up, which is very nice. Now there is some uh, moving parts. Oh, I got to get you in frame here. These, these uh, seats do move a little bit, but uh, nice load area, very, very nice. Uh, lens details on the tail lights there. Uh, 200 DRB, DRB, you know, I think I probably said that wrong before. Uh, I don't, I'm not catching what DRB is. Huh, uh, that'll come to me tonight when I'm sleeping. <laughs> Very beautiful color on this baby. Uh, I like the rear uh, tailgate there, uh, lift gate. Uh, it's got the uh, rear defrost on it. Very, very nice. A uh, little, it, it fits very good. Very good. Not, not bad at all. Not bad at all, really. Um, come around to the passenger side. Uh, open that door up there. Very nice in there, I tell you. Very nice. 
a uh, little shaky on the uh, paint on the door sills but not too bad and uh, like I said I think these these seats do move a little bit it's trying to get that passenger seat to not be so wonky because it does it does move a little bit but anyway there you go yeah uh, side mirrors do have uh, reflective metallic paint on them but all in all a really a nice car and then it does have the uh, as you know Burgo usually has uh, working susp uh, steering so working steering there so very very nice car awesome awesome model really I really enjoy this model um, excellent excellent model all right so we kind of started um, kind of in the middle with the VIP um, group there uh, let's go to the um, kind of to the uh, top beginner I don't know <laughs> Let's go to the next one. How about that? <laughs> Gonna crank up here and uh, take a look at the box here. So this is the uh, Range Rover Fireman. Uh, the code is 16405. Little fireman there with his hose. Uh, quality made in Italy. Wow, I can't believe the time. We already spent 10 minutes on that first one. Uh, KB Toys, $6.99. That was regular price. It wasn't marked down. Um, very very nice these these cars are very very nice um i tell you 125th scale and uh now we're gonna look at the uh the base of this and uh here we go um now this one is saying that it's the boric collection but it uh i think it was under the star collection that uh it had but uh yeah, I, I'm not really sure. Uh, check my notes. So this is kind of a newer model. Um, there is another Range Rover, um, 16305. There is a Freelander, 16165. I have that one. That's a Safari one. And uh, there, incidentally, there is uh, uh, another one that's a kit, uh, 59. 652 safari kit i do have do have a couple of those so here we are we're opening this up while i talk here just to kind of move things along here or we'll be here all day you know me i love to talk about land rovers <laughs> all right same as before got uh color in there uh keep that flap open same 200 drb interesting all right we're gonna slide this bugger out set the box to the side and then there was um also listed in this series this star collection star collect uh collection series uh a land a land rover as well uh regular series land rover all right this has got a gold um burgo fireman thing now interestingly enough um i'm gonna probably tag the uh, video see now this one has come off this one has broken and uh that was kind of one of my concerns you can see that uh, and this is probably what the other one uh kind of looks like that we just looked at working suspension very nicely detailed bottoms there that tab that holds it to the uh, base is just right there in the middle and it was uh 2001 there we go so that gives us an idea i think that's the model of course it says 126 scale under the under the truck interesting but uh yeah all those are individual pieces the uh rear rear differential i like that they did their homework it's offset to the correct side dual exhaust pointing down uh two screws holding uh the black part down very very nice now this one also um same kind of stuff up front wipers on the headlight got that uh detailed engine now this one has fire to uh fire airport fire service with the uh land rover on or range rover on the hood very very nice 
uh, beige interior again. Now this has got um, uh, gray floor mats. Same kind of pretty much stuff there, you know, uh, as the other one. But uh, BAA, somebody's going to tell me what that means. I know it. I'd like to know what it means. It just says airport fire service there. So very, very classy, very, very nice. Uh, move around to the back here, same kind of stuff there. Uh, opening rear tailgate, yeah, very nice. The added uh, thing to this is these uh, hook ladders on here, and you could uh, take those off, but uh, you know, those are old and brittle. <laughs> Couple little bubble gums on there. Uh, very, very nice, very nice red. This is the uh, uh, 3 version. Now, interestingly enough, I did, and I'll probably tag it at the end, I did um, the earlier uh, Range Rover, like the, the two-door uh, classic Range Rover. This is the second-gen Range Rover. Um, so uh, I did that uh, earlier. So uh, they did a, a fire service on that. All right, uh, best to last, and boy, we're running out of time, so we're going to jump right into it. Um like I say, box, blocks, uh, collection, zion. I'm not French, so pardon me there. Uh, let's get this crate back up so we can uh, take a look at the box here real quick. Running out of time. Are you telling me? Are you telling me we're running out of time? We're coming to my favorite one. This is, uh, um, yeah, the Land Rover Experience. I, I believe I bought this one in person as well. Uh, not there's no listings of other um, of other uh, collections in this one here. I did I do notice that this is taped one, but one side is open. So we're going to uh, take this beauty out of the box. So if you were watching, and uh, like I say, I'll tag the other video there of the um, earlier versions. I believe of this the. Uh, two-door Range Rover. Oh, look at him. He, oh, he's facing a different way. The other ones were all facing the other way. So we'll just slide him out and take a look at him. So 2007 is what I could find on here. Uh, Burgo Range Rover, the Land Rover Experience 4x4 driving. Nice collection of things on top, wheel, uh, track water containers because they're blue pioneer but uh, very very nice now this one has got the doors uh, plastic shut it does come with a uh, a bull guard brush guard on it with a winch on the bottom fog lights in there different license plate on this one uh, still uh, opening hood on this oh that's, that's tight so uh, very, very nice, very clean model. See, there's uh, stuff in the back as well. Oh, that is very nice. There is the gas. I don't know why you would put the water out here and gas in here with a 55 gallon barrel. <laughs> but nice, oh, floor uh, jack, toolbox. Very, very nice, very, very nice. ZA528. EV got uh, protective on there still for keeping that shut but there you go very very nice um, there is a regular model uh, 15-05 there also is Freelanders uh, I believe I have one of these in that uh, Bryonk Bryog I don't know whatever 15065 15265 as well but anyway there you go awesome models this is my favorite obviously i love the land rover experience stuff that is totally totally cool uh we're gonna get out of here thank you for joining me today sorry it's kind of a longer video but these are glorious these are grand these are just great so there we go thank you very much for joining me today I'm your friend Dan. Oh, I'm out of here. Join me on Facebook. Make sure you like and subscribe, all right? Join me on Facebook, Roverland. Instagram, at Roverland Channel. And as always, um, yeah, 
Slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.